Right, so here we are, the RC Trains TX20 transmitter. Speed and direction control knob, direction switch. You can set it up so that the direction switch controls the loco's direction and the speed control knob just controls speed. On off switch, bind button, function one and function two buttons. So, how does it work? Well, if I move the speed control knob in the forwards direction, off the loco goes, and if I turn it in reverse, she comes back again. Now you can hear that I've got a My Loco Sound Universal Sound Card installed. So what I've done is I've linked up the various effects on the sound card to the buttons and switches on the transmitter. So if I press the bind button, the horn, or sorry, in this case, whistle sounds. If I press function one, I get the guard's whistle. If I press function two, we get the safety valve. Press it again to turn it off. If I move the direction switch in the forwards direction, I get the brake pump. Move it again to turn it off. And if I move the direction switch in the reverse direction, I get the bell. Now, I know this isn't an American loco, so I don't really need a bell, but I follow Southwold Railway practice, and before each train departs, the station master rings a bell on the platform. So, here we are, we can blow the whistle, get the guard's whistle, whoops, and the brake pump going off, and the safety valve, and the loco starts to move off. Safety valve goes off, and off she goes. Now I can get her to come back, turn the transmitter off, and she'll carry on moving at the same speed and in the same direction as she was when the transmitter was on. So that's called cruise control. Off she goes, turn it back on again, wait a couple of seconds and I can bring her back into control again. The RC Trains TX20